the moment you think of startup, these names pop up, but no one talks about the 99% of founders who tried and never able to make it. Now in the AI age, execution isn't a moat anymore. Your big idea could be a feature in someone else's product next month. Hello everyone. So let's begin by making this scene. First, I will extract the audio and disable it. So in the starting, first we bring in our default text. Okay. And as usual, hit our windows plus dot key to open this emoji menu and select this square increase the size and scape now we'll bring this image okay i got it from google images okay and i'll put it over here now i'll bring another default text okay and put it below this layer now again i'll hit windows plus dot key and this time i'll be selecting this circle now I'll be, you know, selecting this color and make this big. Okay. Okay. Now, in the start, as you can see, this shrinks down. Okay. And, you know, this comes up. So, what we have to look is first call, I'll select this image and head on to adjustment and decrease the saturation to make it black and white. Okay. And then I'll bring this my three circles animation. Okay. First of all, what I'm going to do is, you know, right click, edit, and then freeze frame it. Okay. Then head on to video, mask, add mask circle. And this time I'll just, you know, mask it out to mask it out properly i'll select this background okay the wild background which we made at the first and decrease the opacity so i can see behind okay while masking make sure it is a good mask okay so that it doesn't show any edges okay i'll fast forward this section and you can you know mask the three circles separately so this will be one circle and then you will make copy of this and do the rest too. Okay, now I have made the masking. So again, I'll head on and increase back the opacity to full. Okay, now what we have to do is I'll, you know, drag all these three inside means below this. Okay circle and you know put it behind now what we have to do is simply you know at the start as you can see it shrinks and these all come out so just at the start compound clip these two this person's face and the background circle and then hit on video transform keyframe Go ahead and decrease this. Bring it down like this. Okay. Now hit Alt and K and select Cubic Out. Okay. So this goes down and then our animations will come up. So when it's over here, select your, you know, logos which you just masked out drag them up and now we have to place them okay but we have to place them according to this okay so just go here okay somewhere around here and then bring this over here so you can see the places now just match them accordingly so this will go over here and then this will go over here and finally, this Amazon will go here. Okay. Now we need to simply hit all plus K and then, you know, select this cubic out. Okay, so I know we had to make this, you know, these all from scratch. So if you want to learn how to do everything from scratch, okay, all the, you know, assets. So you can head on to, you know, my description and there will be an after effects tutorial and there you can learn the animations from scratch. Okay.
because some animations in CapCut cannot be made from scratch. So I have used the animation files. Okay, so this will be our first animation. Okay, something like this. Then it will turn like this. So when it comes over here, just hit all, just you know, select these and drag it. So this cut from here, and then this animation which we imported will start. So it will look something like this. Then you know, as you can see, this goes out. So simply we can head on to video transform keyframe, click over here, go ahead. And then drag this out like this and increase the size. So now hit Alt press K again. Cubic out. And then cubic out. Okay. Let's bring this ahead like this. So after this, as you can see, turning they will you know zoom out with these locals. So this part is easy again. So at the end, what we have to do is just go to the second last keyframe and you know, right click here and edit and freeze frame it. Okay. After this, we have to simply, you know, go to effects, search for our blur and bring this blur animation here. Let's disable it for now. Okay. So when you started your freeze frame at that time, what we have to do is bring in our logos like this. Okay. And place it randomly. Okay. Or now just make them some big, some small. Okay. Like that. Don't make everything the same size. You know, try to make it different sizes. The reason I will tell you. Okay. Now just simply select one by one and hit transform keyframe and drag them out okay like this hit transform keyframe let's hit transform keyframe on all first and i'll fast forward see this section like how we drag this out you have to drag out all the you know logos in the first keyframe so you can drag them out upwards or right or down anything then go somewhere here again hit the keyframes and this time around bring them in now hit alt plus k and then select cubic out for all okay now select this okay the freeze frame hit transform keyframe go ahead again hit transform keyframe and zoom it out okay hit or plus k and then cube the out okay and then what we have to do select the logos which you just made and compound them together or by pressing or plus g now hit transform keyframe go ahead then shrink them a little okay around this much hit alt plus k and then so we could have compound clipped them together but as we wanted different you know timing of the animation so we did it separately okay and spread this yeah so this will be our animation okay and let's bring the blur now which we disabled press v to enable it again and now hit this keyframe go ahead Again in this keyframe, go to the first keyframe and make it Z. Now the dot plus K and smoothen it out. And then we can, you know, just simply bring our door animation, put it over here. Okay. Just press reverse over here. Okay. So now it's done. After it closes, at the end, what I have to do is just hit freeze frame. Okay over here simple as that and when it closes here just simply i have to you know select all of these which is behind okay blurred like this select this blur compound clip and freeze frame get alt plus g okay and 
hit blend keyframe over here go ahead again hit blend keyframe and make it zero opacity pip so there's a smooth transition behind the door as you can see over here okay now simply we have to do you know next animation which is you know this okay so that part is very easy we have done these in many of our videos just yes, select this space hit space fill it background make it white let's do a bit of white I don't know. and then simply I'll head on to animation and blur white okay it's the duration okay you can do this animation using split you know mask but to make it faster I'm using my effect blur right and then bring in a default text okay and as you can see never able to make it so the text is very easy okay after this we just write we are just here for the animation text you can you know do it yourself and select this and you know I can just select type to animation please the duration okay so after this okay next thing is this whole animation and then this mobile phone so let's try to aim for 200 likes for this video and if we achieve that aim i'll be making second part of this video where we'll cover this whole animation and this iphone animation so see you in the next stay tuned